So in this video, we're going to talk about, we're going to introduce chemical bonding. So first, what is a chemical bond? Well, it's a bond, the chemical bond is a mutual electrical attraction between the nuclei and valence electrons of different atoms that binds the atoms together. So just another way to think about this is it's a way that elements will either share or give and take electrons so that they'll be more, so that they'll be linked to another atom. And they do this because of the second law of thermodynamics. If you recall from the last unit, the second law of thermodynamics is that all things want to go to the lowest possible energy. And for elements, they have less energy, for many of them, they have less energy when bonded than when they're on their own. So this is, and we remember valence electrons have a lot to do with that. So now we're gonna talk about different types of bonds. The first type we're gonna talk about are ionic bonds. These are bonds that result from the electrical attraction between large, number of large numbers of cations and anions. So anion is a negative ion, and we'll learn more about that later, and cations are positive ions. And what you'll get is you'll get many of these cations and anions before. So these are before they become ions. And what happens is atoms or electrons from atoms A will go to atom B. So that's why the atom B here is bigger because it's atom and electron. And this one has gotten smaller. The other one other type of chemical bond, of bonds are covalent bonds, and these are bonds that happen through sharing a pair of electrons between two atoms. So with ionic bonds, it was one took it and one received it, and they just stayed together to neutralize the charges. Covalent bonds, it's a sharing. So these two, they didn't give up any of their electrons, but they're sharing a pair of electrons now. In covalent bonds, we have two types, um, and this is because some of the covalent bonds don't share electrons equally. If the electrons aren't shared equally, then we call it polar covalent, and if the electrons are shared equally, then it's nonpolar covalent. So here we can see nonpolar covalent bond because these clouds are the electron clouds. And so we can see that they're equally shared. The electrons can be, are being equally distributed. But in a polar covalent bond, more of the electron density is being pulled towards one element versus another. And so that's why this is darker than this one. So nonpolar covalent, electrons shared equally. Polar covalent, electrons aren't shared equally. And how do we tell the difference between the two? We use the difference in electronegativity between the bonded atoms. So if you remember electronegativity from last unit, that's the pool that an element has on the electrons when bonded. So if it has a pool of greater than 1.7, then if the difference in electronegativity between the two atoms is greater than 1.7, then it'll be ionic. If it's between 0.3 and 1.7, then it's polar covalent. And if it's less than 0.3, then it's nonpolar covalent. So this is equal sharing of electrons. This is a polar covalent. There's more of a pool on the electrons by one element. And ionic, it's basically given away the electron. So you're now going to work on, you're going to watch a video on this uh, to go through the differences. And then there is a worksheet for you to practice if it's ionic, polar covalent, or non-polar covalent.